the order in which events, ideas, places or steps take place is called a sequence. How well you are able to put things in the sequence depends upon your ability to isolate details and recall facts. By being able to pick out the important details and also remember different facts in a passage, you will then be able to put these details in the correct order. When you look for the sequence of something, you look for a series of events or for steps in a process. Thus, the sequence in which things happen is vital, especially in reading and studying social studies and science material. It is also needed when reading written instructions or looking for the cause and effects of a problem. For example, if you do not follow the correct sequence in a science experiment, instead of finding a solution to a simple problem, you may end up blowing up the room. And in the various fields of social studies, such as history, it is extremely important to know the sequence of events. History is a record of events in the order in which they occur over time. In anything that requires you to follow directions or look for the cause and effect of a problem, process or, re or event, it is important to know how to put things in sequence or follow the existing sequence. It may help you to ask yourself, when did this happen or in what order did this happen? Often when you read a story, it is re written sequentially, exactly in the order in which it happened. But sometimes stories are not told as they actually occur. To understand the order in which the events of these stories occur, you must depend on certain words that signal the correct order of events. We call these signal words. Some common signal, signal words include now, before, after, soon, later, finally, initially, secondly, and so on. Signal words in addition to dates and times, help you determine order or sequence of events. Change, changes in verb tense from past to present also help you to see the actual order of events.